Hello, and welcome to the Bartender Video Tutorials. In this video, we are going to introduce you to working with date and time in Bartender. Here we have a label that we want to add a date to. In this case, we want the label to pull the date information from the computer's system clock. Bartender uses the clock data source to pull date and time information directly from your computer or printer. When using the clock data source, Bartender will always pull the current date and or time from the computer's clock or your printer's clock at the time of the printing. This allows for the date and time information to update automatically on the document for each print job. We can simply drag and drop the clock icon from the toolbox onto the text object. Voila! The current date now populates the text object. Let's take a look at the options we have when working with the clock data source. First, you can see that in the Data Source tab, we have the option to use the printer's clock. For this example, we will leave this box unchecked and use our computer's system clock. We can find more options over on the Data Type tab. Since the data source is the actual clock running on your computer, you do have the option in the Type field to choose time or date. Formats for dates and times can vary not only by language but also by country. The Locale field allows you to choose from many different languages around the world, which are further broken down by different geographical regions. As you can see, we have quite a few variations of the English language, from Australia to Canada, as well as from the United Kingdom to Zimbabwe. In the Format field, there are many options to present the date based on the standard formatting style of the chosen locale. You can even choose to have both the date and the time included in the format. If you want to present the date in a format that is not represented here, you have the option to create a custom pattern, which you can enter into the Pattern field here. You can refer to the Bartender Help System for more information on different format patterns for date and time. The Time Zone field gives you the option to choose your local time zone or coordinated universal time. The Clock Data Source is useful when you want the current date and real-time information to display in your object. However, you can also use transforms to create a date based on the current date, such as setting an expiration date using the offset transform. You can also place a date on your document that is not the current date or time, such as a list of birth dates from a database field, or a date set sometime in the future or in the past, using an embedded data source or a Visual Basic script. In this example, we are using an embedded data source that contains the date we typed in. If we look at the Data Type tab, we see that right now, Bartender sees this input data as simply text. If we change the data type to Date, we now have all the same options for our date as an embedded data source that we had for it as a clock data source. Once the data type is set to Date, Bartender will treat this data like a date, giving you access to date-specific formatting and transforms that would not be available in a typical text object. To quickly recap, in this video, we showed how the date and time can be pulled directly from the computer or printer's clock as a data source, or from another data source other than the computer's clock, such as a database, by setting the data type to date or time. Regardless of the data source, the date and time data types have the same formatting options. If you still have questions about this process, consult the Bartender Help System or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.